Hey guys, it's me, Christy Lee. It's Sunday, April 2nd. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit. Uh, I made a video the other day that I was planning on posting, letting you guys know just what's been going on with me and why I haven't been on here much. Um, but it kind of didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to give it another shot. Um, as you can, you know, probably tell by the title of the video, I've been going through some depression lately. And I haven't got on here to talk about it because I kind of feel like I don't want people, I, I don't want you guys or anyone who comes to my channel to think that I'm just, you know, always complaining or I don't want to be a, a downer, you know, um, so I've kind of tried to limit myself to not talking about my depression so much, and it, I thought it was a good thing, but it, it's starting to, um, I'm not sure exactly how to say this, but I need to be able to talk about it out loud to someone, and I don't really have anyone in my life that I feel like I can talk to about it, you know. Um, and that kind of sucks. Um, so I did, I was talking to a friend last night and I kind of tried to, I don't want to be a burden on anyone and just kind of spill everything you know, and just like go into this hour long conversation about everything that's going on. But I kind of tried to make it as concise as possible. And, you know, she reminded me that I'm not alone and that, um, you know, there are people out here that care. And I, I guess I kind of, um, it's difficult in times like this for me to, to, remember that or truly feel it. Um, when I'm feeling like this, I kind of feel like no one actually cares. Um, they may, you know, like I feel like people on the surface try to, they think that they care, but do they really, you know, and, or maybe they just can't really understand what's going on. Um, anyway, I'm get, I'm getting so off topic, I think. I'm having trouble, you know, forming thoughts and <laughs> sentences and everything. Um, I've just been going through a lot personally, um, as far as my emotions and feelings and things like that. And I have definitely been in a depressive state. Um, and I think, I think I know what kind of, um, started this um and it's been about a week I would say maybe a little longer actually maybe I think it was just building to this point I don't know but I've been you know you guys know if if you watch my channel regularly and if you don't um I'm trying to find a job and because of my current situation that's very difficult so I've been trying to look into ways of earning an income at least a small amount of income from home um, and I've been you know using my YouTube channel hoping to be able to grow it and you know be, be able to earn something from that but in the meantime I was trying to find something to help me work from home whether it be blogging um, you know whatever I could do and so I started looking into things and I, I just I feel like every time I find something new and interesting something that I think might work for me I just like, I go full force into it, try to learn everything that I can, and then I just hit a wall where I feel like I can't do this, I'm not good enough to do this, I'm not, I'm not smart enough, I can't figure this out, I'm never going to be able to do this. And it, it just happened back to back to back with like different things that I was looking into. And it really started to make me feel like I just can't do anything like I don't have the mental capabilities to figure the 
to, to figure this stuff out. And I, it's, I have chronic low self-esteem. That's a huge issue for me. I always have a little voice inside my head saying, you're not good enough. You, you don't have anything to offer and just things like that. And so that voice just really has been haunting me. It's been in my ear day in and day out. And I am having a hard time dealing with it. And I, I, I want to be able to talk with someone who's going to understand what I'm saying and who, who may be able to offer me some, um, guidance and maybe give me some tools to help me change this way of thinking and, you know, sh help me find ways of building my self-esteem. So basically I, I need, I want, a, I want a therapist or something or a life coach. I, and I know I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do that right now. Um, so I've just, I've just been really, really down in the dumps and I'm having a hard time pulling myself out. And, um, I've been very withdrawn. Eric asked me this morning, you know, what, what was going on with me? He asked me the other night and I told him I didn't know how to explain it. And I tried and I don't think that, I know that he was trying to help me, but I don't think that he really, uh, knew how, I guess. Um, and then this morning, you know, when he asked what was going on, he said for the last couple of days, I just feel like he just feels like I just, you know, don't even want to smile about anything. And he asked me if I ever get tired of living like that. And that kind of, it kind of makes me feel like he just doesn't understand. I know that he can understand some things, but you know, like his follow up was, you know, I got tired of feeling like that. That's why I, you know, changed. I stopped. I just don't want to feel like that. I get that. I get that, you know, with some people and in some situations, you can just decide that you don't want to feel this way anymore and you're going to change the way you think. But sometimes it's stronger than you are. And and it just kind of, um, I guess it kind of hurts to know that, you know, the closest, I don't know how to say this without it sounding bad, but I just feel alone in this. I feel very alone in this and I don't know how to fix it. So I'm trying to wait for it to pass and uh hopefully it'll be soon um i'm not as low as i was a few days ago which is good because a few days ago my thoughts were very dark and it gets scary when it gets like that because i'm afraid that one day it's going to be too much right now i'm just kind of numb to everything um the things aren't bothering me the same way that they were. I just have not been able to, you know, come up from it. I haven't been able to find joy in things that I normally would. I haven't been able to smile. I haven't been talking, you know, for about four or five days now. I've just, I've just not been talking. Like, I just go days without talking. And it's just, that's just, that's part of, part of my life. You know, I go in and out of this. Sometimes it's worse than others. Sometimes it's easier to handle. Sometimes it only lasts a few hours. Sometimes it lasts a couple of weeks, you know, and it's just, it's just part of my life. And I am trying, you know, sometimes I feel like, like I've accepted it and I'm, I've kind of learned to work with it. And other times I feel like it's brand new to me and I don't know what I'm doing or how to do it or it's a, it's a process and it's, you know, it's not something that's going to just disappear overnight and it's not something that I could just decide to change, you know? So that's where I am. That's where I've been. And I didn't want to come on here and just like 
cry about, you know, all the problems I'm having, but I did want to kind of reach out to you guys and just let you know, you know what's going on and hopefully things will improve. I've got a couple of video ideas that I would like to do, a few apps that I want to tell you guys about. And I'm just kind of waiting for my energy levels to return because <laughs> nobody wants to watch a video of, you know, this kind of monotone, no excitement in my voice or in my face. That's just not, not any fun. So I, I'm going to wait until my spirits are a little more elevated before I try to make any real videos. If that makes any sense. Yeah, so, alright guys, I just wanted to come on and say hello and let you know that I'm, I'm still here. And, uh, I'm sure I'll be, I'm sure I will be back to myself in no time. But, I miss you guys. Thank you guys for always, always being here and always being so supportive. You guys mean so much to me. Um, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.